are some beauty tips for the more mature woman, the woman in her 60s, 70s, 80s, and beyond. And these are beauty tips based on the principle of less is more. First, let's talk about makeup. We know that as we get older, our hair gets thinner. It changes color, it becomes gray, or in my case, completely white. And that hair loss applies also to our eyebrows. Our eyebrows get more sparse, the hairs turn gray, or in my case, even white. So when we wear our brow color, I usually stick, because my hair is white, I usually stick to a taupe or a light blonde. And don't worry about filling in the entire brow and don't worry about having to cover every single hair. If there's a few white or gray hairs showing, that's fully appropriate for a mature woman. Next, blush. Nothing finishes a makeup look like a slight flush of color on the upper cheekbones. The only thing is, don't put too much because then you look like a clown and you don't want that. So just use a touch, use a special brush and just blend, blend, blend that blush along the cheekbone up into your temple so that you have the barest flush of color. Next, eyes and lips. Now, if you like a smoky eye look, it's best to go with a more neutral lip color. If you go with a more natural look for the eyes, then you can use a bright red lipstick or a bright fuchsia. Next, jewelry. Jewelry is just lovely. It adds the perfect touch to any outfit. If you're wearing a necklace, stick with a smaller, more inconspicuous earring. And vice versa, if you have long dangling earrings which grab everybody's attention, forego the necklace. The same with rings and bracelets. If you're wearing a ring or many rings on your fingers, forego the bracelet. If you have no rings on your fingers, go ahead and put on a big sparkly bracelet or a bunch of bangles. And finally, perfume. I love perfume and I wear perfume every day. When I'm at home alone, I spray to my heart's content. But we need to be cautious about wearing perfume in a public place. We have to think of other people. And we all know that it's not a good idea to wear perfume to a doctor's office or a medical clinic or a hospital. If you're going to an event which is in a smaller space indoors, be careful about how much perfume you apply. On the other hand, if you're going to an event outdoors, you can spray a bit more. Or if you're going to an event in a very large hall with lots of people and lots of air around, you can use a little more. So just be cautious of the amount of perfume you wear. If you are somebody who likes the concept of more is more, you do whatever you want to do. You wear the lipstick, put the blush on, wear all the jewelry you want. Just have a great time.